I don't care what they say. I know I look good in high definition. Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? It's your boy Malik, back on your screen for video editing software guy. It's time to break down another tutorial for all my power director people out there. And this time I'm bringing you how to produce HD video. Let's jump off in the Cyberlink Power Director 13 Ultimate and get things started. Here we are in Power Director 13 Ultimate, and it's time to get our HD video export on. First thing is, you need to know the resolution and frame rate of your footage or your video clip. If you don't know that, can't set up your project, and then can't really get that HD video you're looking for. So, you can easily determine the properties of your video clip or your footage right here within Power Director 13 Ultimate. So I'm gonna right click on this clip I'm gonna use. And I'm gonna go down to View Properties. Now here it tells me it's a MP4 wrapper. The video file type is H.264 AVCHD. What I'm really concerned about here is the resolution and the frame rate. The resolution is 1920 by 1080, so I know I'm getting full HD on this clip. And the frame rate is 29.97 frames per second. Now, what that means to me is I need to set up my project and export to similar resolution and frame rate to get full HD. So I'm going to close this out. So now I'm going to go to my settings. So I'm going to go to my little preferences. And I'm going to make sure that my timeline frame rate matches the frame rate of the video I'm going to use. So I want to put this on 30 frames per second. Now, of course, if I was doing a film look, I would do 24 or 25 frames per second, depending on where I live at. And then if I'm doing maybe some gaming video or something like that, then I would do 60 frames per second or 50 frames per second. Once again, depending on where I live at. But for these purposes, I'm going to do 30 frames per second because I'm going to make it match the video clip that I have. So I'm going to click OK. And you want to make sure that your project aspect ratio is set up correctly. So for a widescreen or HD, you want it to be on 16 by 9. If you have it on 4 by 3, that's standard. You're going to end up with black bars on your video. So make sure that you have your aspect ratio set up to 16 by 9 so you can get rid of those black bars. Now that I have everything set up, I'm going to drag my footage down into the timeline. I'm going to click on the good old produce button. What I recommend to do for the videos that I make is either QuickTime or H.264 AVC. So if you select QuickTime, you go straight down to the profiles. Now, when you select a profile, you want to select a profile that matches the resolution and frame rate of the video clip that we brought in, which was already HD. So we want to go to 1920 by 1080. And I'm going to do 30p because the frame rate of that video was 29.97. Now... The other option I have here that I would choose that I select most of the time is H.264 AVC. So I'm going to click on that. When you click on that, you then have to select whether you want a M2TS, an MP4, or an MKV wrapper on that file. Uh, if you choose MP4 and you go down to the profile presets, 
you get all the way up to 4K. You also have 2K. But since we're doing HD, I would pick one of these two, 24P or 30P. But let's say you were like, hey, I am actually trying to do a gaming video and I want 60p. Well, there's a few options. You can choose the M2TS. And here you have 60p. So you can do that. And then you also have MKV. And it also has 60p. And even 60i if you want interlace. You also can create your own custom profiles. So next to the profile name and quality, you have a little plus sign here. If you click on that, it tells you the properties on the first screen, but then you can go to video and you can select the resolution. You can select the frame rate that you want. You can select if it's uh, interlaced or progressive. Right, so you can change all those settings. You can also change the audio if you want. And then once you're done, you press OK, and what will happen is basically it'll show up as a new profile name based on the name that you select. Because you can type in whatever name you want. I'm gonna hit cancel. Then once you're done, you just select the location where you want to save the video on your computer and you click on start and that's a wrap baby you'll have HD video flowing through your eye sockets in no time